Hello everyone, welcome back to Space Engineers. This is a brand new series, this here is going to be Hardcore Survival. So, um, has been mentioned in previous series before uh, what we're going to be doing, but let me just start off from the very start. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new game, a uh, custom game, and we'll put it under just the ordinary star system, and we'll call it Hardcore Survival. Right, um, so it's going to be survival, offline mode, auto save yes, and mods. So here's all the mods that we're going to be taking over, so I'll just drag them all over now. So we've got um, more alarms and sirens, assertive combat systems, sort of loot, or scrap, build division 3, in-depth LCDs, mid space ship, speed, 500 mod, uh, modular encounter systems, reavers, tower of the vert, scarce resources, shower light, speed of light mod, visible lasers for a laser antenna and the, the nerf for the no jetpack on planet. So let me just go in depth as to what's actually happening. So pretty much what's going to happen is we're going to have all scrap which is a mod that whenever you go to grind down something you don't actually get the components back you only get the scrap. Um, as far as I know it's only 45% of what it's worth so for example if you were to grind down say I don't know, like uh, a thruster, you'll only get 45% of the parts back unless you put them through a refinery with a yield module on it which you will get up to about 90% or something along those lines. So it makes sure that whenever you're building something um, or if you're dismantling something that you have to be careful what you do and you take your time. And um, The other thing as well is Build Vision 3. I'm going to use that because it's a nice thing to have in um, survival. It just makes things a wee bit better so you don't have to keep going into a panel. It's just more easier than anything else. Um, speed mod so i'm limited to 500 instead of the unlimited one uh, that'll make sure that we have to use jump drives to get from certain parts of space to the other no like if we're going to be doing long distance travel monitor and counter systems so it's just you no know, like more ai and different things same as the reavers scarce resources so anybody that's familiar with this it makes that we have to visit each planet for a specific resource so for example the moon i think has was a gold and if we need uranium, we have to go to Mars or something like that. There, I just can't remember, but I have it written down somewhere. Um, sure, like some of these here mods are dependent on the other, so um, uh, yeah, it's it's different things like that. There's a, it's some of these here are dependent. You have to have them down. Or like the speed was it the uh, sure light that was part of. I think it was like scarce resource or something, I can't remember what it was. Visible lasers for antenna, very good as well if you want to make sure that the laser is actually pointing out what you are doing whenever you're building it. I think we're going to be using lasers a lot more in this here series. And the net, no jetpack on planets. So this makes it that we have to uh, use, you no know, like wheeled vehicles. The other thing as well is, let me just go over the rules. Um, I just need to change a couple of things here in advanced. Um, we are going to be keeping this here pretty much the same. The only thing that's changing is down below here. Where we're going to be turning on, let me see, there's one set where you have to turn on, or two settings, which is the spectator, which is good to have, and the scripts, these two here. I think that's pretty much it, yeah. Okay, and we will start. So, the general rules for this here series at the minute, we are going to kind of make these up as we go along, but the main, main ones are no jetpack on planets. Uh, unless we're getting out of a hole, which is what the mod has allowed for. And the second one is that we can't um, we can't use flying vehicles unless it's for getting out of the atmosphere. So, for example, if we're on a planet and we're looking for resources, it has to be a wheeled vehicle or it has to be done on foot. It can't be a flying vehicle. Um, that's just the way it is. We're going to keep this somewhat um, difficult. Um, the use of no jetpack will make that we'll have to be careful with our res resources. We just can't fly over everywhere and... It just makes things a wee bit more, um, not tedious, but it makes it a wee bit more challenging. And then the use of the reavers as well when we're in space. Space is supposed to be very dangerous as well, so that's what we want. You want something that's really hostile and travelling, so that'll be more the reason why we want to have jump drives to do what we're doing. Okay, so the starting plan we're actually going to go on, according to the mod with the scarce resource and that there, it it says that you should really start on the earth like drop pod because it's you no know, it's easier but we're actually going to go on the parton uh, drop pod because that planet is a lot harder um it's just that's what it, the way it is it's just a lot harder all your bridges are scarce a lot more than the others so let's get this here drop pod and this is officially us starting off
Uh, very good, very good. Now, I have taken a practice shot at this here. It's about to be three hours, pretty much, getting set up for this here. And we are going to... There we are. So this is us here. Here's our new land. Uh, one thing is, it is all pretty, it's pretty much random wherever you get dropped off, so no place or two things. So the first thing's first, we are going to set GPS. And um, we're going to call this the drop pod. So that means that if this here goes off for any reason, we know where it is. Now, um, I have spent three hours just getting this here a mock done up. It was just so that I didn't spend too much time wasting or whatever. And um, the only thing we need out of this here is pretty much that there. I'm going to leave all that there where it is. And I've kind of got into it like a rhythm as what to do first and the way to do it. Anybody that's following the complex creation series will know that I am building uh, diff different blueprints on the uh, the world, uh, earth like world, just to sort of get something into this here. So instead of building stuff and finding out it doesn't actually work, what I'm doing is I'm going over to the um, complex creations. Uh, series and building it there and then perfecting it up to the point that it can be used as a blueprint in this here and one of the first things we will be making on this here will be the um the basic truck which is this one here we will be making this and uh, we can't paste it in there obviously but this here is going to be one of the first things we will make the basic truck and this here will allow us to drive along this planet here and look for various different resources it doesn't have an ore detector it's because it is supposed to be as cheap as it can possibly be and um it's only then when we have the resources can we build up on it and then what will happen is once we're done with the uh, the basic truck which is this one here we will end up making the mule which is this one here which is pretty like the basic truck only it's got more storage space on it but that needs to be um it just needs to be changed around a bit because at the moment that does not provide oxygen whereas the other one does, the truck does. So I think we'll probably end up using the truck a lot more than the mule will. Right, so this is the survival kit. So the first thing we will do is look for some stone. Um, so we'll mine some stone out and what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do it over here, a wee bit of a distance away. I'm just going to mine down here. Gonna do a wee circle. Just like this here. And then the reason for this here is so that we have a hole. I'm just gonna throw that there into it. Uh well actually do production first is gonna do a thousand of this here and throw that there in it. There it goes. Um, so what I'm going to try and do on this here as well is um, try and build things on this. Uh, but we will need a large grid, um, which is something we'll probably do now at the minute. So let's just do that very quickly. Uh, we need one of these. Because um, we need to build uh, um, a bit of a base here. So I want to go somewhere where it's a wee bit flat or a wee bit higher. So I'm just going to go up here, say. And I'm going to put this down. And then what we'll do is we'll put the assembler down first. Then the basic refinery because you have to build um, the assembler first. It unlocks. This is a progressive, progressive map. Uh, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to make the basic assembler before we're able to make the um, the refinery. Wherever that is. Somewhere on this here. Like it's, it's your refinery. Uh, basic refinery. Well, the assembler is. The assembler allows for like all these other you know, blocks. It unlocks quite a lot more. So, um, things like batteries as well. That's why this is hidden behind the basic assembler. So that's why we're going to be making that first. So let's actually just um, put the parts in for making the basic assembler. So, oh, why can't I? I can't seem to add that in for some reason. There we go. This is very weird the way it wouldn't work there. 
So that's going to work away on that there. So we will need 700 iron ingots. Um, or 700 or so. Uh, some nickel and some silicon wafer. These two are usually get. It's usually iron is the hardest. Uh, what we'll end up doing as well is we'll try and see if we can go around and look for um, some iron. But we'll not, be able to use, we'll not be able to refine the iron until we get the assembler down. So what we'll do is we'll build the um, assembler here first. Then we'll put a rotor on the side of it where we will put a small grid battery and that battery is also going to be used for building the um the basic truck as well so we'll put a projector on that first then we'll build the refinery tie that in with the assembler and then we'll put a battery on then we'll put two wind turbines on it and that should keep everything going i suspect that's going to take between two and three episodes to do but what, what i'll do is if i'm going to be doing a lot of digging um, i'll just skip that footage uh, I'm not going to do time lapse because time lapses don't work too well on my current laptop that I'm using. Um, although I've done that in the past, it's just not an app for it. And it's better to just skip the footage instead of having a time lapse that is <laughs> very bad frame rate. Um, even when you do accelerate it up like 200 times speed. But anyway, let's get um, let's get some more rocks and stones. We need as much of this here as possible. So one of the best things, or one of the things I like to do is just go around a wee circle like this. Because you want to be able to get out of the hole. Because remember, we don't have access to our jetpack. Oh. So just going to pick these here all up. I'm just trying to get into the habit of dumping these here all in. Oh. Dumping these here all in as we can go. That's the thing I forgot. We have our weapons in here as well, don't we? There we go. So let's grab our weapon, uh, which uh, will replace this here with it. Character weapons, which is this one. Just in case there's anything, but I uh, honestly haven't come across anything in the three hours that I've done the other test ones, so that um, should be good. Um, and then we have this data pad as well. So this is, uh, you should be able to investigate this place here and they're short of on couriers. This is something as well that is good for getting points and stuff. So we can get credits and we can buy different things with that. So that's good to know. So we're going to create a GPS marker with that. And let's get that set up. Uh, which is the, uh, this here which is the station. So we'll leave that there where it is. And we're just showing HUD. Where is that station anyway? Ah, there it is. It's down there. 33.44 kilometers away. Right, let's not get too distracted. And we'll um, mine up some more this year. So, um, basic plans on this year series is to go and play it until we get to the 24th of October. That's when Skitty Li Skylines 2 is coming out. And then what will happen is we leave the Puppet of Series on hold and then come back to it after City Skylines. But I kind of want a fallback um, series because if we play City Skylines and for whatever reason it doesn't work out, say my computer can't handle it, I need to get a new graphics card, or um, say the series is just, well, we don't like the game or whatever. Um, one of the fallback series where I can go back to the likes of this here and continue on. But I would like to get... I don't think we're going to get it finished. We certainly won't get it finished. But there is no end goal on this here. Unless we just try and get all the resources we can. As long as we can visit all the planets, that's the main thing. So I think what we'll do is we'll set that as our main goal. Is just to be able to visit all the planets. And fight you know, various different things and that there. Love it whenever the inventory is full on this. What do I keep pressing there that keeps doing that? Right, that's gonna. Uh, what have we left in production? Quite a bit of stuff. I wanted to do those there first because I find that those are the that one of the hardest things. Anyway, let's keep uh, mining this here. Right? My, yeah. So, 
that is pretty much the end goal is to try and visit all the plants and then try and take out the enemies um, something that I kind of wish we'd done on the uh, Operation Exploration series was have a bit more of the interaction with the faction but anybody that's watched the series would know that the reason we did stop it was because well the uh, my computer was just unfit to handle the world but I think that was because it was a mixture of how many resources we used and I, I reckon the PC limit was well over a million on that it's just the amount of things we had on that world. It had to be over a million. This... I don't think we did set a PCU limit on this, but ch chances are we won't. We won't, so I'm just going to leave it. Oh, signal. These are often worth it, but that's, see, that's 2.43 kilometers away, and it takes about... Um, it does 10 meters a second, so it will take 243 seconds. Which is about, let me see, 200 and say 250. Divide that by 60. And that gives you how many minutes it is. So, let me see, 60 and 60 is 120. 120 and 120 is 240. So that's 4 minutes. So it'll take 4 minutes to get over there and 4 minutes back here. So that's 8 minutes wasted. Well, not really wasted, but it's 4 minutes spent. But there is some, sometimes they have good enough resources that you can use to recycle into this here. So I don't think we're going to bother with that at the moment. Maybe sometime in the future when we get the um, the basic truck going. So what we'll do is, uh, time is precious at the moment. We want to be able to get um, some... Oh, that's the thing. O and J. Let's turn those there off. Because we don't actually need the action at the moment. That's something we need only whenever there's like a storm or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go around and make this here a wee bit wider. So if you're wondering why I'm making it wider, it's just so that we can get out of it. Because that was one of the big things I had done wrong whenever I was practicing this. Now you might be finding it weird why I was practicing on this here before I was recording. It was mainly just to see that this here would work out first. And then also to ensure that um, we were starting off with a run instead of starting off with a walk. Let's get some more of this. So that's one of the reasons why I don't want to be going into a series and be like, oh, uh, I forgot about this or I didn't know about that. Just want to be prepared, you know, that sort of way. Feel to prepare, prepared to feel. Just keep mining around in this here. I'll do it. Uh, there it is. Right, let's see production. Oh, we actually haven't got that many left. We've only got 17 of those there and um, 73 of them. So let's see production. What do we need? Five, five, six, and there's a hundred and thirty-four. Uh, yeah, we need another bit, good bit, another full inventory. Um, but I would like to get the uh, basic truck as soon as possible. But it took about three hours to get comfortably into this, which would probably be about four to five, maybe six episodes, and this here. If you're doing them to about half an hour or so, which is something that I try to do. I try and keep these episodes to about half an hour or so. So, that's the other thing as well. Just need to be mindful of that. Press and shift F. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, let me see production. Yeah. Um, let's just gra gather over whatever we can at the minute. Right, so we need the assembler, which is number five. Straighten up. 
and I'm going to point this around this way here. Get that welded up. Grab some more. So we're just waiting on the plants really. So we need another 315 or so of those. Right, let's get some more. So um, yeah, once we get that basic truck going, we will be pretty much, uh, I would like to use the word exponentially, do better in this year. The start, the, the start is always the slowest. It's literally trying to get all the stuff that you need. So once we get that, we'll be flying. Much of this here as we can get. Keep going. So yeah, doing the edges seems to get you more stone. Just takes more chunks out of it or whatever. Love it when it just says that. Well, it's a good thing and a bad thing sometimes. Wonder if that'll be enough to do everything that's needed there now. Uh, production could be. I uh, just need to straight up. So the next thing we'll build off the side of this here is a refinery. Uh, no, advanced rotor. How do we make um, advanced rotor again? I think we need to make it the uh, ba 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 ba. How do we uh, and CD advanced rotor, which is a battery. We can make a small one on the side of the um, survival thing, so it's just a small battery. Yeah, we can make a small one, put it on that there. That gives us access to all these here. Then we will need to make... Conveyors will have to come from this one, I think it is. Is it this here? Is the conveyors? Well, this one gives vents, so we'll have to make an interior wall. Oh, nearly. Grab that stuff. Right, let's get some more. But this is definitely, it is definitely a lot quicker. This time run than it was in the last one. Because I think it spent about a more guts of an hour trying to get used things. So then it could be actually just two hours. Could only be just two hours to get things going on this. And shift uh, production but these take three each uh, we might actually have enough no we don't need another load let's do it from over here Just 
Can make this here a wee bit open. The other thing as well is the reason why I'm making this such a big circle is because if you accidentally drive a vehicle into it, you want to be able to reverse straight out of it. And not have to dig it out. If you imagine you drove a vehicle in here, you could just drive straight out this way. Could you imagine having to do that if you drove straight down? So let's brand this here a bit more. Might actually be enough. Could that be? I think it might actually be. Aha! Nice. So we can uh, build uh, advanced rotor. Oh wait, we need to build a small battery first. So let's build a small battery on the side of this here. Um, let's build it somewhere that we will always keep it. Let's build it there. Production. So we need more plates. What does that need? So we just need construction components and two power cells. The two power cells can't come off this here, so it has to go onto this. Um, so we're going to have to build a turbine on top of this. A wind turbine. We'll have to place one of these here on it. Just going to cancel these here. What is going on? Let's cancel that first and cancel the battery. Let's cancel those for a second because we need to make this. I just remembered as well. We can take these here off because we won't be needing them. These here can come off completely. And there is a few more bits and pieces that can come off, but this is the main things. Shove them over. And then what we'll do is we'll go to production and we'll go to here. And we do is we set. Oh. This will recycle everything we need. See, so we've got 993, so we've got loads. In there, so we'll save some amount. The only thing is, we don't, we can't do, um, we can't do any of these here yet. They have to go into this. So we'll put them in there first. Uh, maybe it's dismantled or something. Might put it under. Uh, production. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember where it goes under. I just know that it does go in there eventually. Alright, so it's making away at that stuff there. So we'll get a wind turbine up here as soon as we can. Can we make a scaffold as well? Need the large grid stuff. Scaffold block. I don't know how these here work. I haven't used these yet. So I don't want to use them and waste them. But we'll put the um we'll put the turbine on top of this. Right, let's get, try and get the uh, necessary parts. For 
for this here, which is a turbine. And replace that with this here. And we will need to build on top of that. Hmm. What we could do is we can get another plate and grab some of these here. Then all I have to do then is get this, put that one there, and somewhere about here. To which then we put number seven. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna keep that there, it'll probably come in use. Oh, I used the place in there instead of using it in there. Oh well. It is what it is. What's left in that? Just girders and eight motors. Right, so there's... Uh, we've got lots of motors there coming through now. Let's grab some more. Like as I say, don't be afraid to use um, your survival kit because at the end of the day, you want it for doing different things. Now we could rip off some of these here um, landing pads as well because we don't need them all. In fact, only need one. So let's do the let's do the tree. That's more stuff. Going through your stuff there now. So we've only got two motors left. One more motor left there now. Oh, excellent. And here's our. There we go. How much power is that producing? A uh, current output is one kilowatt. Um, this uses one kilowatt. Basics. Wow, that's not digging that. Right, so we can make our two batteries in here. So let's do that. And uh, we only need two. So let's grab all the resources from this. Put them in here. There we go. Energy low. What's that waiting on? Two construction components. There we go. So now we've built the battery, so we can make an advanced rotor on the side of this. So we need a single plate. Um, let me see now, that will go... I hope it can go there, although it's probably better going... I know, it'd be better going here. Which then this here will add a small head. Small head, add a small head, yeah. And rotor lock. Then we'll put a projector. I hope the projector doesn't take any. Projector, which is here. That is waiting on the basic assembler, which is done. And it's waiting on an Ian tubes U ship, which is cheap enough to make as well if we can get it for a small grid. 
So let's add that in very quickly. What does that take? Interior plate. Let's just make one of those. And we'll just stick it there. Somewhere handy. There we go. Oh. That's the um the storm firing up there now. Just fill up an energy here as well while we're here. There we go. That'll do. And um, because we have that tubes, can we get the projector? We can. And we're gonna place that with that. And we want a small grid projector made. So that's this one. Add that and go into here. Send all that stuff into production. Uh we just need a single plate. And I can go, we'll put that on top. That's alright. Um, okay, so let's see if we can get uh, projector blueprints. Let's see if we can get the um, basic truck. This one here. Multiple grids are not supported. Only the largest grid would be used. Well, there was no other subgrids unless it's talking about the wheels. Right, let me see. Stats currently like that, so it needs to flip around to the right a wee bit. So. There we go. Then it needs to go forward. Let's see vertical. And horizontally come back to about there. Right, so there's where's the battery? There's the battery there. If we can get that battery connected up to this, we'll be flying. We just need to come out no, where is the battery? There's the battery. We need to turn it around facing that way. Or actually what would be better is setting it forward like this. Bringing it back over a bit. No, that wheel's in the way. Yeah, it's all right there. And then we'll build a um, proper thing over there now. So let's get some more stuff. And then we'll call it an episode. Because we need to get a battery on this to store that power from the wind. Let's made. I wonder how many that would do. So let me see. Come over about one, two, three, four, five, six. Say, which six would be plenty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just doing all them at the minute. I don't have time for those, I'm just going to skip those. Alright, that's it. Grab some of these. There we go. 
probably should put a down one. Uh, do you know what? It'll be alright. Now, the next thing to get is that battery. So, I'm going to get that. I'll put that in here. And um, we'll grab all that stuff. Oh. What is it waiting on there to do? There's only a few wee things left there. Let's grab this. A few more bits and pieces there to come out. Two, one, and it. Even if we can get most of these here batteries, that'd be good. Right. Yes. Next thing to make on this here would be... Um, we should get the refinery going because we have the battery there so the next thing to do is actually build the refinery on this so um, let me see if we can get some more stone I know we were going to say this was the last, uh, last part of the episode but I hope the noise isn't too bad but I can adjust it in the video editor if I feel like it's drowning the voice out too much but I did reduce the the sounds in the game but the um my audio on the uh, game audio is on two separate channels so it's adjustable if needed just gonna take some more of this still. Very bad storm, but that's generating quite a lot of wind. As long as that's going into this, that's all that matters. Charge up while we're waiting on that. There we go. Oh. Um, right, so we have some of these here, so we need to make. Uh, let's just actually cancel that. The next thing to make is the uh, refinery and large grid. Um, don't need that, just need this. And that's going to go six. That can go that way there. Will it be in the way of the wheels if they were to add? No. Cancel that for a second. And add those on. So this needs about 900 iron or so. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to call this here an episode. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep collecting this stone until I get enough here to build, get all the parts for this here. And then what I'll do is I'll resume the next episode and hopefully then we'll be able to go and finish off making this. And I can go and look around for some iron and then that's when things will get really, really good. So that's it for this here episode. Thanks again for watching. If you have any comments or any suggestions, do drop them down below or visit the Discord channel that is linked in the description. Follow our Discord channel for the schedule as well as the information board. There you'll be able to see what games we're playing as well as when those games are coming out onto YouTube. If you're enjoying the content, do consider subscribing and drop a like if you enjoy what you see. As you know, it helps show what people are interested in the most. And I'll try and focus on those areas a bit more in the future. But other than that, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.
I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators. You helped make these videos possible.